Now, sometimes if you can't beat it, it's easier to join it. And what I'm referring to is here in Sydney, the most beautiful, awesome place in the world. Our water is alkaline. And if you want to keep American fish, Amazon fish, and they like acidic water, it's a pain in the ass. So you've got a couple of options. Option number one is keep your fish in acidic water. Now to do that here in Sydney, that means that you need to lower the pH. And Sydney tap water also tends to bounce, which means you get it down and then it just boings, boings back up again like a morning glory. So what is best if you do want to get the pH down particularly for fish like rams and discus and small tetras, then it's best to have like a 44 gallon drum or some way of holding water and then lower the pH in that drum and then regularly check it because you'll often find it just bounces back up again. And that way you can actually lower the um, pH again before it goes into the tank. Otherwise what I often find is I'll do a water change I'll lower the pH and then boing, 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 it just goes back up again. And I think the bouncing around of the pH is worse than just having the pH a little bit higher. So that's why I say sometimes I'd rather just join it than beat it. Because most of these fish easily adapt to slightly alkaline water. So therefore you've got to look at what is the benefit of lowering the pH or do I just accept that maybe the odd one won't handle the pH on the alkaline side and accept that whatever happens, happens. But in general, fish that like acidic water tend to still be okay or adapt to alkaline water, but fish from alkaline water don't adapt to acidic water as a rule. So anyway, give us your opinion. Do you keep acidic water in alkaline water? Have you kept alkaline fish in acidic water? What's your opinion? What's your experience? My opinion is that if you live in Sydney, particularly if you don't have CO2, if you have CO2, then you're in business because it's easy to control the pH with CO2. But for a standard aquarium without CO2, here in Sydney, it's not worth it because I like to have an easy life I don't like freaking out about things like my pH and in general most of my fish from acidic water adapt quite well to alkaline but I do not have the same experience in reverse alkaline fish don't seem to adapt anyway comment like and subscribe